So in this video we're going to talk about the difference between the rule sets. The main two rules are world rules and black ball rules. So we're now going to discuss the differences between the two sets of rules. There's, there's not a huge amount of difference between the different sets of rules. There's just little changes here and there which make big differences. So the rules themselves wouldn't sound as a huge difference when I explain them, but actually playing the rules and playing the rules to your advantage would be a big difference. Um, one of the main sets of difference in the rules is in the black ball rules you're allowed to play something which is called a skill shot. So for example, if you've got a ball over this corner and your opponent's got a red ball over this corner, at black ball rules you're allowed to pot your ball, screw the white over, pot your opponent's ball in the same shot and as long as this ball goes in you're allowed to pot your opponent's ball which obviously at times you can use that to your advantage. Um, world rules you're allowed to play deliberate fouls where in black ball rules you're not allowed to play deliberate fouls so for example In world rules, your opponent's got a red ball over the pocket. This is your yellow ball. And your opponent's got one red left on the table. You can play your yellow ball onto your opponent's red ball, leave it hanging over the pocket. Your opponent's now got two shots, but he has to play from where the cue ball lands, and he can't pot your ball. In black ball rules, this situation would be no good to you because your opponent could just pot your ball as an open table and then carry on as normal. World rules, your opponent has to play from where the cue ball lands. He has to, in this instance, pot that ball and then he's got to get onto the black. So there's huge different sets of, of rules but they're completely different to how you, how you approach the game. Uh, and there is a huge difference in the way that you play with such small differences in the rules really. So this, the skill shot seems to be the biggest difference then. Yeah. So if you're um, using this example, if you've got, uh, again you're still you're playing yellows, there's been a red that's just sat over the pocket there, are you able to, in, in black ball rules, how does that differ to how you would play this? Yeah, well in, black, well in black ball rules, because you're allowed to play the skill shot, it doesn't actually matter which ball goes down first as long as they both go in. So if this is your opponent's ball, this is your ball, you would, you're would you allowed to play the yellow ball onto your opponent's ball, pop the ball, as long as the yellow follows the ball in afterwards, that's a legal shot and you're allowed to carry on, which is classed as a skill shot. Okay. World rules, you wouldn't be allowed to, you wouldn't be allowed to play that. Yeah. So therefore, when you're looking at the finishes, the finish of the table is a completely different mindset depending on which rules that you play. So therefore it is really, really difficult to get your head around the, 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 the differences between the two sets of rules and how to play the two sets of rules to your advantage. And how about when there's a foul then? What's the difference then with how that's treated? Yeah, well the difference with a foul is at world rules you get two shots and two shots do carry. So as long as you don't miss you still carry on with two shots. At black ball rules, you get two shots, but the two shots don't carry. So the, the first shot is an open shot, if you like. You can play any ball on the table, you can pot your opponent's ball. But once you've played that shot, you're then down to one shot. Whether you pot a ball or not, you're then down to one visit. And in world rules, two shots carry all the way through to the black. Yeah, two, a lot of, that's always a pub debate, isn't it? Is whether yeah, two shots carry on the black. The two shots carry, and personally, I don't think this is a very good rule because I think it... I think it takes all of the skill out of the game because if you've got two shots with, with, with an easy finish, you come to the black, you can just dribble the black over the pocket and then pot the black. So therefore, I think the black ball rules in the sense of two shots don't carry adds a little bit more pressure and certainly adds more pressure to your opponent when he's clearing up the finish. Do you ever get a situation where you get a ball in hand in either set of rules? Yeah. That's the, another difference between the rules. In world rules, you're not allowed to pick the cue ball up unless you're uh, something which is called a foul snooker. So your opponent's made a foul, but he snookered you at the same time. 
that's the only allowance that you're allowed to pick the cue ball up in world rules in black ball rules any foul you're allowed to pick the cue ball up the first shot is an open shot and then you have to go for the finish with one shot afterwards so when it's an open shot what does that mean then does that mean that you could pot your opponent's ball yeah. if that suited you yeah if it suited you and it's to your advantage you can pot your opponent's ball at black ball rules at world rules you're allowed to pot your opponent's ball but then it's a foul two shots because it's a deliberate foul right. black ball rules you can pot your opponent's ball to your advantage with your first free shot on a foul and then afterwards it's just one visit so in terms of your preference between the different rule sets then what's which ones do you prefer and why um, well the new season, this season, you know, 2013, is the first time that I'll have ever played a season playing black ball rules, so it's sort of um, yet to, to know really of which suits me. I've always played world rules, and I think there's fours and against of both rules, and I think that the perfect set of rules would be to make a combination of both sets of rules. I think there's fours and against in both sets of rules. Um, so. I personally think the best set of rules could be a combination of both to make a unique set of rules that eliminates some of the luck out of the game. So what, what would that combination look like then? What yeah, well, do? to me the combination would be uh, a similar set of rules that they play at Chinese 8-ball, um, where two shots don't carry and any foul, there is, there's never any two shots. So any foul is only ever one shot but it's ball and hand anyway on the table um, you're allowed to play deliberate fouls but you have to play from where the cue ball lands and there's no there's no flux because I think there's a little bit of a grey area when it comes to um, when, when it comes to playing um, what they call the skill shot so as I explained you have a ball over the pocket your opponent can have a ball over that pocket, you can pot it, screw across, and that's called a skill shot. Well, that's good because you meant to do it. But what if I pot my ball and accidentally knock yours in, in, in at the same time? Well, at black ball rules, that's okay. But that's not a skill shot because you haven't meant to play it. So I think there's a lot of fours and against it for, for both sets of rules. I think if one set of rules was to be a combination of both that eliminated the luck, I think it would lend itself to, to pool being... Um, a lot more viewable. So in the Chinese eight ball, on the example that you gave of you potted your yellow, then you've gone into the red to pot the red, mm. how would they know in Chinese eight ball that that wasn't just a fluke and that that was what you intended? Yeah, because in Chinese eight ball they play with um, numbered balls, so the numbers are the balls are numbered one to fifteen with spots and stripes. So if I'm playing a shot like that, I have to call to the referee that I'm going to, for argument's sake, be potting. The number six ball and screwing across the table and knocking the number nine ball in and if I call that shot I have to I have to make the shot basically if that doesn't if that doesn't work that's also a foul so anything that you say that you're gonna do you have to do and if anything that happens that you haven't meant to happen is a foul and when that foul occurs is that when it's ball in hand yeah any foul that occurs um, there's two types of fouls at Chinese eight ball there's a foul where um, you pot your opponent's ball or you knock one of your opponent's ball in by accident but then your opponent has to play from where the cue ball lands. A foul of um, the cue ball coming off the table or the cue ball going in off or you not making contact with the, the, the ball that you're aiming uh, results in a foul ball and hand anywhere on the table but it's only one visit. For more videos from Gareth Potts please visit homeleisuredirect.com